if you can know what it means to carry the divine presence of God, I'm sure you will thirst and tarry for it. The hunger in you to carry that presence will stir up without any limitation. There is nothing in this world that can be compared with the presence of God. The presence of God guarantees all. If you can only have His presence, you have all in this world. If you can only have His presence, you have all the resources in this world. The best gift the Almighty God gave to the church was His presence. And the presence of the Almighty God is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit is the presence of God in the church. That means if you have the Holy Spirit in you, you have the presence of God in you. Ha! Ah, if you can know this mystery and lay hold on this mystery, you will go far in every aspect of your life. Communion with the Holy Spirit is dwelling in the presence of God. Every time you commune with the Holy Spirit, you are dwelling in the presence of God. And mind you, the Holy Spirit I'm talking about is in you. The only place where you can find the Spirit I'm talking about is in you. That means every believer is a carrier of divine presence. In Psalm 51 verse 11, Psalm 51 verse 11, David said, Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. That means the presence of God is the Spirit of God. The moment you carry the Spirit of God, you carry the presence of God. In Psalm 139, verse 7 to 8, Psalm 139, verse 7 to 8, the psalmist said, Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I go from thy presence? Whither shall I go from thy spirit, or whither shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in air, behold, thou art there. That means the Holy Spirit is the carrier of the presence of God. And wherever we have the Spirit of God, we have the presence of God. Brethren, do not be deceived that the presence of God is concentrated in a particular region. The presence of God you are looking for is in you. The presence of God you are looking for is in you. Every believer is a carrier of divine presence. So why can't you make use of the power of God that is in you and begin to take over your world? Begin to manifest God's power in your universe. In Act of Apostle, Act of Apostle, chapter 10, verse 38. Acts of Apostle, chapter 10, verse 38. It says, How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power, who went about doing good, and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. God was with Jesus, because the Holy Ghost was in him. The moment you have the Holy Ghost in you, where you have power in you. God anointed Jesus, Christ of Nazareth, with Holy Ghost and with power. That means the source of the power of Jesus in his earthly ministry was the Holy Ghost. 
That means if you have the Holy Ghost, you have the power of heaven in you. And immediately Jesus received the Holy Ghost. He went about doing good. You cannot do good until you receive the presence of God. The presence of God guarantees power that will make you to do good. It takes power to do good. It takes power to do good. Behind every wonderful manifestation, there is an underlying power. That means there is a secret power in a secret place responsible for all the wonderful manifestations in our world. Jesus was a carrier of the Holy Spirit and the power of God was demonstrated by Jesus in his earthly ministry. He went about doing good, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. The presence of God contains the healing power. That means the only place where you can see the healing power, I mean the healing virtue, is in the presence of God. If you can only locate the presence of God, you have access for healing virtue. You have access to healing virtue. The Holy Spirit is the carrier of that presence. That means the Holy Spirit is the carrier of the healing virtue of God. The Spirit in you is the Spirit of healing. The healing virtue is concentrated in you. Why can't you begin to use it now for your word? And begin to heal all kinds of sick folks. All kinds of sick folks in your world. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 22. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 22. Paul said, In whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. You are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. That means every believer is an habitant for God. You are the habitant of God and you are an habitant for God. You are the house of God and God dwells in you. You are the holy temple of God and God dwells in you by His Spirit. You are a carrier of the Spirit of God. That means you are a carrier of God. Because there is no difference between the Spirit of God and God Himself. The Spirit of God is the same thing as God. If you carry the Spirit of God, you carry the presence of God. And you have the power of God in you. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 32, 1 John chapter 3, 1 John chapter 3, verse 32, he says, And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he has given us. That means God abideth in you. God is in you by his Spirit that is in you. And without the Spirit of God, you cannot keep the commandment of God. We have the royal law of God, which is the law of love. The law of love. Love your God and love your neighbor as yourself. The covenant and the commandment of love has been delivered unto the church. But for every believer to walk in alignment with the commandment of agape love, you need the spirit of love because there is no difference between God and love. God is love and that is true. Is not a lie at all. The Spirit of God is the Spirit of love. If you then carry God, 
you carry the spirit of love in you, then you can manifest the virtues of God by keeping the commandment of love. It takes the spirit of God to keep the commandment of love. In 1 John chapter 4 verse 13, 1 John chapter 4 verse 13, John said, Hereby know we that we dwell in him, and he in us, because he has given us of his spirit. We dwell in the Father, and the Father dwells in us, because he has given us of his spirit. That means the Spirit of God makes every believer, the Spirit of God makes every believer to dwell in God. You cannot dwell in God until you carry His Spirit. You cannot dwell in God until you carry His Spirit. So the Spirit of God will make you to dwell in God. That means God must dwell in you before you can dwell in God. If God does not dwell in you, there is no how you can dwell in God. You do not love for God for God to love you. God first loves you. That is why you need to love God. So if His spirit of love dwells in you, then you have to dwell in God in love. And you dwell in God by love. The love I'm talking about is the agape love. The presence of God is powerful. The Holy Spirit is correlated with Jesus Christ's presence. If you have the spirit, you have Christ in you. If you have the spirit, you carry Christ in you. That means Christ dwells in you. Christ dwells in you by his spirit. In Romans chapter 8, verse 9 to 10. Romans chapter 8, verse 9 to 10. He says, But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. The spirit is life. The life of Jesus is inputted and implanted in you by his spirit. The spirit that dwells in you is the spirit of God as well the spirit of Christ. So that you can manifest the life of Christ by the spirit of Christ. Take note of this. There is no how you will carry the spirit of Christ and you will not mani manifest the life of Christ. That means the spirit of Christ will make you to walk in alignment with the nature of Christ. Because the spirit of Christ is the nature of Christ in you. In Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 to 17. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 16 to 17. It says that he will grant you. That was Paul speaking to the Ephesians. That he will grant you who? Christ Jesus. According to the riches of his glory. To be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. That ye be rooted and grounded in love. It is the spirit that strengthens you. You receive divine strength by the spirit of God. So that you can walk in alignment with the riches of his glory. And as the spirit of Christ dwells in you. Christ dwells in you by faith. So you can demonstrate your faith. But there is no how you can demonstrate your faith without being rooted and grounded in love. The Spirit of God will make you to be rooted and grounded in the love of God. And that is when the faith of God...
can find full expression in your life. Take note of this. That faith is demonstrated by love. Write it down. Faith is demonstrated by, lo by love. And take note of this. The presence of God is the Spirit of God. The moment you have the Spirit of God, you have the presence of God. And it takes the presence of God to have everything in our world. You can only do exploits in your world if you carry the presence of God. The presence of God you are looking for is not on the mountain. The presence of God you are looking for is not on the pulpit. The presence of God you are looking for is not in a minister. The presence of God you are looking for is not in the forest. The presence of God you are looking for is not in the earthly Jerusalem. But the presence of God you are looking for is in you. Begin to use it now. And you will do wonderful things in your world.